Marcy has designed this special training program to stretch and strengthen your muscles to improve your lovemaking. By conditioning your body's muscles, you can increase the pleasure of your sexual experience for both you and your mate. Lovemaking requires the ability to sustain controlled rhythmic motions, so the muscles involved must be both strong and flexible. Weak or inflexible muscles have restricted movement capabilities and sensitivity, which affect both function and pleasure. The muscles that control the pelvis, such as the abdominals, gluteus, hamstrings, and spinal erectors are especially important to sexual expression and experience. If you're tight or inflexible, you may not be able to move your pelvis independently of your torso or legs. Pleasure from sexual intercourse is primarily dependent on the mobility of the pelvis. The pelvis must be able to swing freely, independent of the legs and torso. Otherwise, movement and tempo cannot increase and sexual sensitivity will be limited. Chronic tension and inflexible muscles can limit the mobility of the pelvis in two ways. Tight hamstrings, hip flexors, and adductors can unite the pelvis with the thighs. Tight erector muscles can unite the pelvis with the spine. When the spine is united with the legs or torso, the person is forced to move their entire body as a single unit. This reduced movement capability and sensation inhibits the movements necessary for stimulation and pleasure of sexual organs. Lack of mobility is usually compensated for by tensing the buttocks and pressing the pelvis forward. This rigid postural movement tends to interfere with the natural rhythm and free flow of the sexual experience. Movements become more stiff and mechanical rather than tender and graceful. The purpose of this conditioning program is to enhance the flexibility and strength of the muscles controlling pelvic movement. There is another group of muscles which is primarily responsible for the support of the sexual organs, genital health, and sexual pleasure. This muscle group is the pubococcygeus, which we shall refer to as the PC for short. The PC, as the name implies, runs from the pubic bone in the front to the coccyx, the tailbone, in the back. This muscle group supports the internal organs and structures of the pelvis. We are most aware of its usage for stopping the flow of urine during urination. It, like other muscles, can be contracted and strengthened. The stronger and healthier the PC, the more likely you are to derive sexual satisfaction and enjoyment. The original work concerning the strengthening of this muscle group was done by Dr. Arnold Kegel. He developed special exercises sometimes referred to as Kegel exercises or Kegeling for strengthening the PC. Dr. Kegel designed the exercises to help women with incontinence without surgery. It is estimated that 80% of incontinence can be traced to weak PC muscles. PC training is also prescribed and used for prenatal exercise to make delivery easier. Most pertinent to our topic is the strong correlation between orgasms and PC strength. Recent research confirmed Kegel's belief that weak PC muscles may be partially responsible for failure to reach orgasm during intercourse. Women who achieve a high rate of orgasm or who are multi-orgasmic test high in PC strength, while those who cannot achieve orgasm test low. Conclusions seem to point out that the stronger the PC muscles, the more likely one is to reach orgasm from vaginal stimulation. It has been shown that women are capable of multiple climaxes, and it was assumed that men were incapable of this. Recent reports indicate that multiple orgasms are possible for men. The essential prerequisites are a strong PC group, good physical condition, and the belief that you don't have to quit after the first one. A weak PC group may manifest itself through a variety of symptoms, such as frequent vaginal or urinary infections, pain on vaginal penetration, lack of vaginal sensitivity, severe menstrual cramps. A weakness in the PC muscles may also allow urine discharges when laughing, sneezing, running, or other stressful situations. There are several methods for testing the PC muscle. By clinician with vaginal myograph or perinometer, finger test, or urination test. To use the urine test method, simply start and stop the flow of urine repeatedly. If you cannot start and stop the flow completely with precision, then the PC muscles may be weak. This training program is designed with two areas of concentration, flexibility, muscular endurance for muscles of the pelvic region and the PC group. Flexibility. 
Flexibility is essential to allow muscles and joints to move unrestricted through their full range of motion. The less tension and restriction your muscles have, the more relaxed and fluid your movements will be. As we previously discussed, any tightness or restriction in the movement of the pelvis will inhibit the sexual rhythm, tempo, and pleasurable experience. A minimum level of flexibility is necessary for basic pelvic movements. Higher levels of flexibility are required to utilize advanced sexual positions. Flexibility exercises will help keep muscles supple and a full range of motion in the joint. Strength and endurance. By conditioning and strengthening your muscles, you will enhance their function and endurance. Rhythmic pelvic movements are the basis for stimulation during sexual intercourse. The exercises in our program are specifically geared to increase muscular strength of the legs, back, abdomen, and pelvic girdle. You will increase your muscular power and control of delicate and sensitive movements without suffering from fatigue. There will be exercises for the strengthening of the PC muscle group. Strong PC muscles are vital to optimal sexual health and pleasure. Within the workout, we perform some of the exercises in combination with the PC. You can also perform exercises for the PC anytime, anywhere, and without anyone being aware of it. We recommend that you perform this exercise workout three to four times weekly for optimal results in flexibility and endurance. This program can also be integrated with other sports and fitness training programs. Okay, let's begin the class now. Please stand. Feet a little wider than shoulder width. Palms placed together. Inhale and reach. Exhale, pull down. Twice more. Big breath in. Exhale, release. One more time. Palms in. Exhale. Shrug back. Loosen up the trapezius muscles and the neck. Okay, to the front. Just relax, shrug out, forward. Okay, up and down. Tension out of the neck. Okay, left arm up, side then stretch, right and left, right and left, right. Just a little further over now, more of a side bend. And left. Left hand. Last four. And three. Two. Once more. Okay, both hands up. Bring it to the side, plie. Nice easy side bend, hold. Inhale. Exhale, side hold. Inhale up. Exhale, side. Inhale up. Exhale, one more time. Okay, flat back forward, exhale, release the back. Knees are slightly bent, roll it up four. Three, two, one, inhale, reach. Flat back, exhale, release the back, roll it up four. And three, two, once more, inhale. Exhale, two, three, four, roll it up, five, six, Seven, eight, we play down two, flat back three, and four, straighten legs five, six, roll it up, seven, eight, plie two, one, two, flat back three, four, straighten five, six, roll it up, seven, twice more, same thing, one, two, flat back three, four, straighten five, six, roll up, seven, eight, once more, one, two, flat back three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. Just bring it down. Exhale, press. Knees over the toes. Back is straight. Use your quads and your buttocks to press up. Inhale, exhale. Exhale. Four more. Three. Just warm it up. We'll get down and stretch it out. Two. One more. Up. Okay, hold it down. Hands on knees. Right shoulder forward. Back stretch. Left and right. Left and right. Left and right, left and right. One more time left, hands slide down, exhale straighten. Widen the feet out a little bit so we can lunge. Let's check our positioning first. Knee goes out over the foot, knee right above the right foot, straighten the leg, let's check the left side, same idea. Knee over foot, back is flat, center position. Here we go, let's go right and center. Left, 
center and left. Center and left. Center and left. Center and left. A little lower now. Once we're warmer, stretch out just a little deeper. Last time each side, right and left. Come to the center. Relax your back forward. Knees are slightly bent. Do not lock out. Slightly bent. Relax. Right hand on the left foot. Place the left hand up and behind. Twist the spine. Both knees are slightly bent. Okay, release back to the front. Opposite side, left hand on right foot. Right hand reaches to the ceiling. Come back to the center now. We alternate toe touches. Right hand on left, left on right. That's two, three, four. Keep the knees bent and soft. Six, seven. One more time for eight. Point to the ceiling with the back hand. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Walk the hands forward. Bring the feet together behind you, press the heels down, stretch the calves, lift up, press down, lift it up, press down eight times, that's two, lift, three, lift, four, lift, five, lift, six, seven, just finishing the warm up, and eight, bend the knees, sit right down on your heels, stretch your back, quads and butt out. Okay, roll it up. So you're seated on your heels. Put our hands behind us. We're just going to lift our hips up a little bit. We want to stretch our quads out. We're not going to lean all the way back. Just lift the hips forward. So you feel a stretch on the front of your thighs. Okay, stretch the quads out. Okay, the whole key, sit back up. The whole key to the pelvic movement is flexibility in the hamstring, quad, butt, and abdominals, and also strength in the exact same muscle. So what we want to do now is we're going to just take our hips, turn them backwards. We arch our back. We're going to bring our hips forward, pelvic tilt front. So it's back, pelvic tilt forward, and back. So we contract our abdominals, pulling the pelvis forward. Abdominals go in. Exhale, pelvic tilt. Again, and tilt. That's three. Back, four. Back, five. Back, six. Twice more. Back, seven. Back, and eight. Bring it forward. Relax your back. Stretch it out. Okay, come up to kneeling position. Perform the same type of exercise. It's called cat. What we do is we lift our back up, bring the pelvis forward, contract the abdominals and the buttocks at the same time. So it's pelvic tilt forward. We inhale, hips go backward, pelvic tilt backward. We arch the back, release the abdominals. Again, flexibility in the pelvis. Exhale, hips forward. Inhale down. Cock the hips backward. Exhale, hips up, forward, and inhale down. Exhale. So we work the muscles, but also try to increase the range of motion. Inhale, back. Exhale, pull forward. Back comes up. Inhale, down. Exhale, pull. Squeeze buttocks. Abdominals tight. Inhale, stretch. Exhale again. Abdominals, buttocks squeeze. Pelvis forward. Four more times. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Three more. Inhale. Concentrate on the abdominals. Exhale, squeeze tight. Last two. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. And up. Okay, sit back on the heels. Now we're going to work on some flexibility for the inner thighs, the groin area. We want to open up the, open up the knees. Okay, in yoga it's called a frog pose. We're just going to use it for a, for a stretch. We want to keep the knees wide apart, as wide as we can, and we feel the stretch in here. Again, it's flexibility in the hip area. We want to sit up straight, open the hips out. Hands behind the head. Nice, easy side bend. Center, side bend. Center, side bend. Center, side bend. Center, side bend. One more time to the left. Okay, we're going to walk the hands out. We keep the feet on the floor, toes are together. We walk the hands out. We come down onto the elbows. And what we want to do now, we want to press the hips downward nice and easy towards the floor. Okay, it's a tough stretch, so you want to be careful with how hard you can press. Okay, we let the hips come down. The feet will come off the floor. Hips touch the floor. Okay, now we put the feet back down. Hips come up. Just keep opening the hips outward. Okay, hips down. Feet up. Feet down. Hips back. Okay, walk it back. Hold your position again. Side bend to the right. 
up, side bend left, up, right, up, left, up, right, up, left, up. One more time to each side, one more time to the left. Okay, walk it back out. One more time, keep the feet on the floor. Let the hips come down. Now let the feet come out down to the side. Bring the feet together behind you. Okay, let your back leg flat on the floor. Okay, we're going to do another hip flexibility exercise. We're going to bring the hip right up side, alongside of us, as far as we can. So it's open to the side. You can have the gap between your hip and the floor. What you want to do is keeping your left hip on the floor, you want to take the right hip and try to press it down into the floor so that this hip opens up wide. Press the right hip down. Okay, relax for a second. Contract the right buttock and squeeze that hip down. One more time, relax. Exhale, squeeze down. Okay, one more time, let's go once more. Press it down, contract the buttock, press the hip downward, try to reduce that space. Okay, relax, send that leg back. Left leg, same idea, open up the left hip. Knee up, we have a gap right through here. We exhale, press down. Relax it. Exhale, press down. Right hip is on the floor. We're trying to get the left hip on the floor as well. Down, relax. Exhale, down. Relax. Four more, down. And relax. Down. Last two. Down. And relax. Down. And relax. One more time. Down. Okay, let that leg go back one more time on the right. If you can open just a little bit more, knee up, press down, and relax it, press it down. Relax, press down. That's three, five more, relax, press it down. Last four, press down. Three, press down. Last three, press it down. Last two. Press down, squeeze the buttock. One more time, press it down, squeeze. And release, send that leg back. Last time on the left side, knee up, as high as you can. There's a space there, left hip is not touching, we try to press it down. Squeeze down, and release, that's one. Left buttock squeezes down, that's two. Squeeze down, that's three. Squeeze it down, that's four. Press that hip down, five, last three, relax, press, last two, press, one more time, press down, and back. Okay, if you've had uh, any tightness in your lower back, you want to be careful with this next exercise. What we're going to do is we're going to work on the buttock again, but not, it's not a flexibility exercise. Strictly for strengthening the buttock, what we want to do is lift the left leg off the floor, right leg, excuse me, Hip is pressing down, we tighten this buttock. Okay, the pelvic movement is based upon pushing the hips forward. The buttock controls the majority of that movement, so we want to strengthen it for, for uh, added strength and endurance. We press the foot upward, tighten the buttock, hold it, squeeze tight, okay, slowly lower. If we don't relax it, we just stretch it down, up and squeeze. We press that hip firmly into the floor. We feel the buttock very tight. Go down and lift, down. And lift, squeeze, and down. Lift, we intensify the contraction. There's not a lot of weight. We make the muscle work. Squeeze hard, and down. Here we go, tempo. Lift, and down. Let's lift, down, lift, and down. Lift, and down. Last eight, lift, seven, lift, six. Hips stay on the floor. Five, hips pressing firmly. Last four, down, lift, three, Lift, two, lift, one more time, all the way up, squeeze tight, and slowly lower, opposite leg now, ready, lift slow first, get the feel of it, hip is in the floor firmly, and down, lift up, squeeze butt up, and down, lift, down, lift, down, lift, and down, lift, down, tempo, lift, down, lift, down, and lift, down, lift, down, last eight, up, seven, 
Squeeze tight. Press the hip into the floor. Tighten the buttock. Six. Harder each time. Five. Down. Four. Down. Hips down. Last three. And lift. Two. Lift. One more time. Lift it up. Eight counts on the right. Here we go. Lift it. One. Lift. Two. Tighten the buttock. Three. Down. Lift. Four. Lift. Five. Lift. Six. Lift. Seven. Once more. Change left leg right up. Look up. One. Up. Two. Up. Three. Up. Four. Up. Five. Up. Six. Up. Seven. One more time. Up. And eight. Let's stretch it out. We sit back on the heels. Our back might have gotten a little tight because the lower back is involved as well. We sit back and stretch it out. Okay, let's kick through the front. We're going to do the abdominals next. The abdominals are the key for the forward movement of the pelvis. The abdominal muscles pull forward. The buttock muscles contract. So this motion forward is controlled by these two groups. We just worked here. Next is abdominals. So what we're going to do is bring the heels onto the floor. Knees are bent. It's called a quarter up. What we're going to do is exhale. We pull the rib cage down. Abdominals tighten. We feel a full contraction. At the same time, we tip the pelvis forward slightly. So it looks like this. We exhale. We lift up. Pelvic tilt. Abdominal contraction. We relax it back. Exhale. And tilt. And back. And tilt. OK, relax it for a second. Here's where we involve the other exercise for the PC, the Kegel exercise. When we're down, and I say PC, we contract PC. When we come up, it's abdominals. And down, it's PC. So it's up. Ab, PC. Up. Ab, PC. Isolate the two muscles. It's totally different. Two different, mu two different muscles firing here. That's ab, PC. Ab, PC. Exhale. Pelvic tilt. Ab, PC. Ab. PC, exhale. We're not pulling on the neck support, just the weight of the head. Pelvic tilt. Squeeze tight. And PC. Ab. PC. Squeeze tight. Ab. PC. And ab. PC. Eight more. Endurance. PC. Ab. PC. If they get fatigued, you keep squeezing down tighter. Rest if you have to. Come right back in. Keep working it. PC squeeze. Don't forget, doing two muscles here. Here's the abs, PC, abs, PC. Six more, and squeeze. Five, exhale, squeeze. Four, it's up. Three, pelvic tilt. Two, squeeze. One more time, up and down. Okay, bring the knees in. Your back got tight or your abdominals were fatigued. Bring the knees in and relax for a moment. Okay, next exercise is also abdominal. This was more the upper part because our upper body was coming up. What we want to do next is want to work more to the lower part of the abdominals. You can't separate them completely, but when you tip your pelvis, it is more isolated to the bottom than the top. So what we want to do is we bring the knees up in towards the chest. And we pull downward. So what's actually happening is the hips are flexing, yes, but as well, we're also tilting the pelvis. So it's the hip flexors and the pelvis, uh, lower abdominals, rather, that pull the pelvis forward. So we exhale, knees come in, lower back comes slightly off the floor. That's the exhale. And then we come back down. So it's exhale in, and then we slowly lower the feet to the floor. When we come down, we never release our back to the point of an arch. So when we hit the bottom, back is still flat, back is still flat. We never actually hyperextend. Okay, let's do two sets of eight. Exhale, pull in and down. Exhale and down. Exhale, let the air out. Squeeze the abdominals. Exhale. Breathing is a key for abdominal exercises. Exhale. That's three. Exhale. Let your heels go to the floor. If it bothers your back, don't let them hit the floor. Let them only go to 90 degrees. Exhale. That's six. Exhale. Seven, and eight, eight more, exhale, seven more, six more, five more, keep squeezing, 
Focus on the abs. Four more. And down. Nice and steady. Slow controlled movements. Three. And down. Two. Down. One more time after this one. Okay, last one. Hold it in. Squeeze tight. Abs. Pelvis forward. And slowly lower. Okay, bring the knees into the chest. Okay, we'll perform two more sets. This time we in involve the kegels again. So what we do is when we come in, we hold it, and then we kegel right there. The heels come back down. We stretch, relax for a moment. Exhale, pull in. Pause, kegel, down. Okay, let's do two sets of eight again. Ready? Pull it in. TC, and down. Exhale, abs, TC. They both go at the same time. And down, up, abs, TC. Down, focus in, two, two separate contractions, that's four, down, in, five. If you feel your lower back, only bring your knees till they're about 90 degrees, don't touch and hyperextend. And in, down, in, TC, down, in, TC, down, two more for the first set, and down, one more time, that's, that's eight. One more set of eight. Focus on the PC now. In. PC. One. In. Two. In. Three. Get those abs firm. Nice, tight abdominals. Trim waist. Powerful pelvic contractions. In. Last four. In. Last three. Exhale. Last two. Exhale. One more. Put all you got into it. Squeeze it in. PC. And down. Okay, knees into the chest. Rest for a moment. Okay, we move back to the glutes now. The abdominals get a little break. We put the heels on the floor. We pelvic tilt. Tighten the glutes. The butt is not touching the floor. Back is being pressed down tightly because the abdominals are contracting. With that pelvic tilt on, we press from the heels. Drive the pelvis upward. Back is flat, so we're not hanging, the back isn't hanging tilted because of the pelvic tilt. We bring it down, back touches, butt doesn't, exhale, press up, squeeze buttocks together, and then down. Let's go, two sets of eight, squeeze up and down, press it up. That's two, squeeze up, that's three, make sure you got a good pelvic tilt going. The tilt is more important than how high you go, and down, squeeze it up, and down. It's not the height, it's the tilt. You can go a lot higher like this. It's ineffective. You're arching your back. You want to just really pelvic tilt, squeeze, down, pelvic tilt, and squeeze. Lost count there. We'll call that eight. Down, one, down, two, down, three. Really squeeze it right here, abs and butt. Four, down, five, down, six. Make them powerful. Seven, one more time. Eight. Okay, relax it down. Okay, we're going to bring the kegel back into this. We PC at the top. So it's down. We up. PC. Down. Up. Squeeze PC. Down. Up. PC. And down. That's three. Up. PC. Down. PC. Down. Up. PC. Four. Keep it going. I'm not going to say PC. You know to do it. Let's go. Squeeze it up. And down. Pelvic tilt, squeeze, PC, and down, and up, and down, up, and down, up, down, squeeze tight, and down, one more set of eight, up, that's one, drive the heels into the floor, focus on the buttocks, squeeze them together and up as you pelvic tilt, so both cheeks come together tightly and squeeze, and down, up, and squeeze, last six, down, up. Five, pelvic tilt, and four, up, and three, up, two, up, one more time, up, squeeze tight, and down, bring your knees into the chest, and recover. Okay, we're going to do the same idea, we're going to do two sets of eight on either side, we bring the right leg up. Place the ankle on the left knee. We keep the pelvic tilt, and now we isolate just the left buttock to strengthen it, and we go to the right. So it's two sets of eight. Heels on the floor. Toes are up this time. Exhale. Pelvic tilt. Squeeze. 
and down. We're going to go tempo a little fast. So it's up and up, 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 up. A little faster tempo. Squeeze it out. And up, and up, and up. Tighter each time. Squeeze it up. Pelvic tilt stays on. Up, up. Breathe out. Up. Squeeze and squeeze. Squeeze. One more set of eight. Let's do two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more. All you got. Squeeze it up. Tighten that buttock. Keep the pelvic tilt. Abs are tight. Butt is tight. And down. Bring the left knee in. Stretch. Okay. Opposite side. Right ankle on left knee. Now we do, excuse me, left ankle on right knee. Pelvic tilt. Exhale. Squeeze it up. And down, and up, down, pelvic tilt, squeeze, abs and butt, both work. Abs are not relaxed, squeeze the abdominals, down, up, down, exhale, and down, up, and down, and up, and down, up, and down. Keep squeezing tighter, we don't relax it, it gets tighter each time. Each successive contraction is even tighter. Okay, one more set of eight, squeeze tight, seven. And down, six, down, and five. Keep the tilt going. Four, down, three, down, two, down. One more time, squeeze. Let's go up and hold it. Squeeze tight. Pelvic tilt hard. Abs are tight. Buttock is tight. Slowly down. Right knee into the chest. Stretch it out. Okay, strong buttocks, strong pelvic contraction. So you want to keep them strong but also flexible. We'll stretch them out in a moment. Okay, sit back up, extend the legs, do a straddle. So you've got the hip flexibility, inhale, reach up, flat back, forward bend, nice and easy, relax. We don't overstretch, so if we feel tension behind the knees or in the groin or in the back, we back off. It should feel comfortable, it's too much, ease up. Otherwise, keep pushing forward until you feel the stretch. Okay, roll it up. Inhale and reach. Exhale, forward bend. Okay, roll it up. Inhale, reach. Now we look to the right foot. Exhale, forward bend to the right. Okay, if you don't reach your toe, it's not a problem. It could be the shin. It could be the ankle. Whatever level you're at, you hold and you relax and forward bend. Okay, roll it up. We're still looking at the right leg. Inhale and reach. Nice and tall. Exhale, flat back forward. And roll it up. Okay, other side. Inhale, reach. Turn to our left. Exhale, forward. Flexibility is a key also for movement. If, you do, if you're inflexible, you have lack of movement. So it's power and flexibility. This is the flexibility aspect. It's just as important as the power and endurance. Roll it up. Inhale, reach. Exhale, forward. Last time, roll it up. Inhale and reach. Out, exhale. Okay, nice and easy, roll it up. <clears throat> Take the tension out of the hamstring. Bring it back to the front. Okay, we'll do a forward bend with the feet together. Toes are flexed backward. Inhale, reach. Exhale, flat back forward. And we relax that position. We don't continue to fight and adjust and find if we can get any more. What, whatever we have, we hold, and then we relax the muscle. Roll it up. As tall as you can sit up. Inhale. Exhale, forward. Roll it up. OK, let's stretch the butt out. As I said before, we need the flexibility as well as the power. We did work the butt pretty well. So what we want to do is stretch it out. We keep the right knee under our chest. We slide the left leg back, under our buttock rather. But we move that foot to the inside of the other hip. So it's not under my right buttock. It is to the left hip. Then I slide my left leg back as far as it will go. And I slide forward, relax my back, and you feel the right buttock stretching.
They roll it up. Draw the left knee forward. Alternate leg. Right leg is extended. Left ankle is under the right hip. And once you have that right leg all the way back, we slide the arms forward in opposition to the right leg and relax. Left buttock is now being stretched. If some of the positions are, if you're a little inflexible, you're not quite up to the position, try modifying it. Maybe just sit on the heel and work your way into it. Over time, you'll find you can get into a more flexible position. And once your muscles loosen up, you'll be able to really um, optimize your, your stretches. OK, roll it up. Bring that knee forward. Sit on the heels. OK, let's stretch the quads and pelvic tilt one more time. Press up. OK, re relax it for a moment. Lean back just a little more, pelvic tilt. Real good. OK, back. OK, come to a kneeling position. Straighten both legs. Press the heels down. So we stretch, final stretch for the calves and hamstrings. Walk the fingers back. OK, we bend the knees. We take a big breath in. Our chest is resting on our thighs. Then we exhale. We straighten. And we try to keep our nose against our knees. We bend again. Inhale. Exhale and straighten. This stretches our back and our hamstrings. Inhale again. Exhale, straighten. Right. We don't go to the point of straining. We just use this leverage to increase the stretch. Exhale. If it's pain, you back off. Inhale, bend. Exhale, straighten. Twice more. Inhale. Exhale. Once more. Inhale. Exhale. Bend the knees, roll it up. Okay, palms pressed together. Inhale and reach. Bend the knees slightly. Flat back forward. Stretch the back and butt and hamstrings. Relax your back. Four count roll up. That's four. Three, two, one. Widen the feet out. Let's just cool down a little more. Stretch. Side bend. Hold to the right. Release your chest over to the right leg, to the center. Roll up four, three, two, one. Side bend left. Release your chest to the left leg, center. Roll it up four, three, two, one. Flat back forward. One, two, hold. Make sure the hamstrings and buttocks stretch, arms extend out. Exhale, release. Good stretch. Roll it up. Four, three, two, one. Drug it back. And forward. Lean back. And forward. Now we just shrug up and down. Up. Tension comes out. Up. Bring our feet a little closer together. Up. Tension comes out. Up. 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 Relax. Workout's over. Relax the muscles. One more time. Palms together. Press. Inhale. One breath. Push out to the side. Exhale. Palms press. Exhale. Last time. Inhale. Exhale. Very good. Use this workout. Increase your flexibility of the pelvic region, strengthen the muscles, and use the Kegel exercises whenever you want. It's not necessary that you use them when we perform these exercises. You can perform them throughout the day. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. The Marcy Personalized Training videos get you results. Use the Personalized Training System chart on the back of your brochure and on the store display to find your goals and sequence of videotapes to achieve them. Improve your sports performance in tennis, golf, running, and skiing. Enhance your physical appearance with cardio weight loss, ladies trim tone classes, and the body sculpting series. The Marcy Personalized Training Videos, the intelligent way to a smart body. For information, please call 1-800-622-1152.